Bob left Adam's apartment and headed for the front door. Bob, his two AK-47s, and many thousands of rounds of ammo were going to Hollywood Boulevard to take out as many fucking zombies as possible in a blaze of glory. As he approached the front door, he looked out and saw Natalia, his Russian neighbor. Bob had a crush on her since the day he moved in. Bob had wasted many hot pockets thinking about Natalia. She was crossing the street towards their place, hands full of gro- hands full of grocery bags, obviously in a hurry. She kept looking behind her. Bob could tell from where she was that she probably could see Hollywood and Highland. Maybe she was shopping when the bath salt zombie apocalypse happened. Or maybe she was already looting the store. Natalia had told Bob many scary stories about her having to steal food and fight for her life in Russia. Bob thought maybe he could save her. For a second, Bob's mind flipped through the images of the future. A future where Bob saves Natalia from a mob of zombies and she falls in love with him. They get married and live the rest of their lives killing zombies and making zombie hunter babies. Natalia was wearing high heels, like always. And today she was wearing that short, teal summer dress with yellow flowers. Bob knew her entire wardrobe. That was one of his favorites. It emphasized her legs, ass, and tits. All of Bob's favorite things about her. As she hurriedly clicked across the street, Bob blissfully watched. The zombie apocalypse was now the second thing on his mind. Natalia looked down the street and became shocked. She was now looking where Bob couldn't see. Maybe she saw some Zalt zombies. Bob hurried towards the door, and Natalia hurried across the street. She stopped in the middle of the street and looked like she didn't know if she should run or back up. Then Bob heard the sound of a car engine speeding up the street. As Bob got to the front door, the engine got louder. A car raced up the street and turned, screeching just before hitting Natalia, who was frozen in the street, her bags of groceries lying at her feet now. The car just missed Natalia, careened up the curb, and it was heading right for Bob. It jumped up the curb and barreled over a bush. Bob jumped back into the apartment building as the car came right for the front door, still accelerating. In one of those moments that feels like slow motion, right before an accident, Bob caught a glimpse into the car. The driver was bloody and screaming. Three children were wrapped around his head and shoulders, attacking his face and neck. Bath salt zombie children? Probably about five years old, ripping their dad's face off? Who gives their children bath salts? The car smashed into the front gate. Glass shattered and metal bars bending quickly into a new shape. Bob had fallen backwards and was showered in glass. He tried to get up, stumbling on the thousands of pieces of shattered glass. As he got up, he looked into the car again. The driver was face down on the steering wheel. The kids were unfazed by the crash and were eating the back of their dad's head. Bob pulled the trigger on his AK-47. One bath salt child took a bullet to the head and instantly began to resemble a garbage pail kid. Taking the next two shots in the face, it fell back into the darkness of the car. Like a doll of a garbage pail kid came to life, then got shot in the face and became lifeless again. The two other little Chucky-like things scrambled out of the back of the car. As they jumped out, Natalia was clicking up to them in her heels. She saw the two children bloody and just in a car wreck, and she thought she could help them, so she went towards them. Bob saw this from behind the wreck of the car. The twisted metal didn't give him a good shot, and he scrambled to find a place to squeeze through. The two bath salt zombie kids waddled towards Natalia. Oh my god, are you okay? She asked in a Russian accent as they approached. Then they leapt at her with amazing jumps for five-year-olds. She was shocked at their jumping ability, but comically caught both of them, one in each arm, almost laughing. For a second, she smiled at the amazing physical feat. That second was short-lived as both child zombies simultaneously attacked her, scratching and biting at Natalia's face and neck. She attempted to dodge backwards, stumbling in her heels. The child zombie in her left arm latched onto her neck with its bite. She let go of the child in her right arms, attempting to pull the left child zombie off her neck. The right zombie child fell, sliding down her body, scratching anything it could. It tore the straps of her summer dress and ripped it from her shoulders as it fell. Her breasts bounced out from the ripped dress 
like they had been waiting the whole time to make their grand entrance. Bob froze. Bob saw Natalia's breast for the first time. She had puffy Russian nipples, just like he had imagined. Then he thought, She wasn't wearing a bra? The right child zombie fell slowly to the ground, tearing at her dress and making long red claw marks in her skin as it fell. The baby brought down the dress with it as it fell. The dress twisted around her stomach, then dropped to her hips as the baby hung from the dress like she grew a giant zombie baby testicle. For a second, the baby dangled between her legs. Then the dress ripped. The baby dropped to the ground, bringing the dress with it around Natalia's ankles. Bob continued to struggle through the front door, but stopped to look. And then Bob thought, She wasn't wearing any panties? Bob made it through the wreck, having to wiggle his trailing foot through the last part of wreckage. He stood up and aimed the AKs. Natalia's bronze, naked body looked at him like a hairless, tan-line-free statue, a statue from his dreams. It was as beautiful as he imagined, except for the child bath salt zombie hanging from her neck. Her long hours of tanning had paid off until this last second, when the baby zombie struck a vein in her neck and blood washed over her chest and stomach like someone poured a pitcher of red Kool-Aid on her neck. Her dress locked around her ankles and she fell backwards onto the street. Her skull hit the asphalt with an unmistakable knock and her hands fell from fighting the baby to an unconscious flap. Bob hurriedly moved up. The right baby who ripped her dress was, call was crawling towards Natalia. Bob's right AK let out a few loud, dull pops and bullets ripped through the baby's soft body, splattering it on the street like an angry abstract artist throwing paint. The other child zombie continued to rip at Natalia's unconscious neck. He didn't want to shoot it in case she was alive, but the growing pool of blood oozing out from beneath her body wasn't a good sign she was going to make it. As Bob approached, he saw the child zombie was eating her face. It had ripped her mouth like the Joker and was pulling a big chunk of her cheek off, tearing it off like a bloody fruit roll-up. A few loud pops from Bob's other AK sent the baby flying across the asphalt. A big piece of bloody cheek still in its mouth. Bob looked down at his former neighbor. He had always wanted to see her naked, but not like this. He grabbed the dress and covered her face. He turned and began walking away, making footprints with Natalia's blood as he left. Bob walked north on Formosa until he hit Hollywood. Then he turned and walked east on the boulevard. Immediately, he saw a group of people running down the street of the boulevard directly at him. It was a large group of people. Zombies, maybe. People running from zombies, maybe? Behind the group of people, Bob could see down Hollywood Boulevard. Multiple columns of smoke rose in the sky. Clumps of orange fire dotted the landscape. Red and blue sirens could be seen far down the street. It was the zombie motherfucking apocalypse. He had seen it many times in movies before, comic books, TV shows, and games. He stood in the middle of the street, dual-wielding AK-47s, a giant zombie horde coming his way, Hollywood burning in the background. He thought, oh shit, this is fucking cool! He waited for a second, looked back and forth, trying to look as cool as he could. Then he pulled both triggers, and both arms shook from the AK-47 recoil. He still wasn't sure the crowd was zombies, but he was shooting them anyways. Leading the pack were a bunch of zombie characters that begged for money on the street. Batman, Bumblebee, Jack Sparrow, Michael Jackson, Netiri, a Playboy bunny. In case the charging crowd wasn't zombies, he shot those annoying fucks first. He was mowing them down and even slowing their charge as the ones in the back had to stumble and crawl over the dead Hollywood characters in front of them. Both assault rifles ran out of ammo at the same time. The horde started advancing again when Bob had to reload. He thought about the last gun show he was at and that greasy salesman who tried to sell him those extended magazines. He wished he had bought them now. Bob finished reloading just as the mob was reaching him. Bob noticed it was a typical Hollywood population of zombies swarming him. Tourists, hobos, a hobo that looked like Tom Cruise, Starbuck employees. 
He thought he even saw Caitlyn Jenner. Bob let out a final yell, holding down the triggers. His AK-47s letting out a final yell also, ripping into the horde of zombies.